Hello everyone, welcome back to Farm Simmer 22. We're back here on Elm Creek with Grover Games. As you can see, we're starting to get pa past it raining this morning. We're, we're gonna head in and we're gonna go pick up our new... Pet the dog here quick. We're gonna head in and pick up our new... We're gonna go pick up a sunflower header because as you see, our sunflowers are ready. And there's two tasks I got on my mind today that I want to do. So, we're gonna rent a disc harrow and a rock picker to get the two fields cleared of rocks after we get harvesting done. We got uh, winter barley we're going to be sowing in this field over here. And I was thinking to myself last night, or the month before, I don't think we really need a shed. Maybe we can squeeze the header into the below the barn here. So I think that's what we're going to try and do instead. That way we can prioritize getting the combine bot. bot. But if worst case scenario we can't get it fit in here, we'll... We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there basically so we're gonna we're gonna head in and there were a few contracts this morning Before I get too far. I want to kind of clear up these eggs quick There are a few contract fertilizer contracts out there this morning, and I'm thinking about grabbing those quick And getting Tuttle giving Tuttle a call here to get us helped out with those as well So that so we'll have a pretty busy month this month just cuz I want to Kind of maximize our profits right now. How much? Okay, we got lime on there right now. Let's. But before we head that way, let's find. There we go. Let's get the class. Let's get the class on that spreader right away this morning. So that way we can. And we'll get those contracts picked up before someone else decides to pick up the business. Hopefully they're still there. We'll find out here shortly. And then we'll we'll start harvesting our sunflowers. That it shouldn't take us that long to get them all knocked out. <clears throat> Let's see here. Grab this. Grab the sensor. But let's grab make sure we pick those up right away. So we'll do 39 and field 68 for fertilizing. Yeah. We should be set there. And I think we'll start... We'll, we'll head out that way, and we'll have Tuttle meet us out there. Drop off the line. And we'll have to get we'll have to get our last field over here limed as well. So we got quite a bit of stuff that I have on my mind that I want to get done today. And while we're in town, we'll pick up a few more bags of... We'll pick up two more bags of fertilizer, I think be more than enough just so we have some oh so we have some for next month so I'll give told Chuck I'd be placing the order online for the sunflower header so he's he's he'll be waiting on that but we'll get that bought and we'll get two bags of fertilizer bought here because I think that should be more than enough to cover everything but like I said, I think, I think we might be able to squeeze, if we get the new combine like I'm planning for us, we might be able to squeeze it right inside. Oh. Let's go, let's take the dirt road here. We might be able to squeeze it down inside the barn there, which will make everything easier for us. And I'm going to, I told Chuck that when I called him about the sunflower header that we'll be at least we'll be borrowing a a disc carol so we can still keep our environmental score up and renting a rock picker to get those rocks that were left behind by the previous owners here this unfolded try and decide if I want to I'm hmm. I think it might be a good idea for me to start the first pass, so that way Tuttle doesn't start going into the neighbor's field like he normally does. I don't even think that's the widest we can go, is it? There we go. Still got to get over a little more. But that's the plan right now for today. For today, we got we got a lot of stuff on my mind that I want to get knocked out this season, and I th I want to do these fertilizer contracts because this will help. Help us close in on getting our, oh, getting our new combine bought for next season. 
And I, like I said, I think we're going to stick with that Ag Coal Pack Combine as of right now. That's the one that's got my, my interest the most peaked, peaked for anything, so. And I'm trying to think. I feel like there were some other tasks that I had planned for the day, but I can't think of it off the top of my head right now. Oop. Get over a little more. There we go. But like I said, we'll we'll get Tuttled hired here after we get this first pass done. Just to make sure he goes the right way with the spreader. Because we'll probably have to have him stop back at home to top off the spreader to do that other neighbor's field as well. Just because I don't think we'll have enough to do both the fields right now. Let's see here. And while he's doing that, we'll we'll run down and go get our new sun we'll get our sunflower header bought. Hopefully that's uh let's scoot this over a little more. I just want to make sure we're overlapping enough so that way we don't have to try and guess where we haven't gone yet. So we'll just do that. There we go. That should be good enough. We'll get in the truck here. We'll drive down to the shop and get the... Throw the sunflower header on here. And I think that... I honestly think this is the right choice for us right now. To buy the sunflower header. Even, even if a row crop header could be a little bit bigger. And I'm pretty sure that... I want to say that... The Massey could handle... Massey or Fent Combine. I haven't decided which one. I'm leaning more towards the Massey, but I might just go Fent to keep, keep keep some more green on the farm. But I'm thinking I'm thinking that that could probably more than likely handle. I changed again. Huh. I didn't even re I kind of like that little de attention to detail. They keep changing. They keep updating the billboards in there. And their uh, base maps of the game. That's actually kind of kind of cool to see them do. I didn't think it would be updating for a while. Because I guess I should mention. Th the day of this recording is the first day of the Kaboto DLC. But for some reason. I I bought this through. I bought Farm Simulator through Steam. And I always have issues. I bought the season pack. I always have issues with like the first day. Of trying to get the. Oh. What am I looking for? The stuff to, stuff to download and work right the first day. It's always like the second or third day till I can get it. And by that point, I'll be be at work. So, but we're, we're going to get this hauled back. And we're going to jump into the time lapse here. And we'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, everyone, this is where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. It's going to be a little bit of short in recording because I was thinking. I was thinking about doing the renting the, dis the disc carol and the rock picker today, but I think we're going to wait till tomorrow. We're going to have another busy day tomorrow, actually, or in the, the month of November is what I'm planning right now. So what I was thinking, and this, I feel like this is going to help us out in the long run, is that we'll end up disc harrowing and rock picking the two fields that we need to do. And I think, well, I'm, I'm not thinking, we're going to, we're going to plant oilseed radish in there. So that way we'll have a natural fertilizer. And with us tilling that ground, we'll have something to hold the soil in place over the winter. So that way we won't really lose any of our, we won't really cause any soil degradation. And at the same time, we will be getting some natural fertilizer for next season. And since I'm, those two fields that we're going to be planting next season, well, the one will be sorghum, which does take quite a bit of nitrogen to get going. And the other one will be sunflower, which also takes a good amount of nitrogen to get going. So we'll have we'll have some free, quote-unquote, free natural fertilizer for it. And I felt like we did all right for the sunflower harvest. I mean, it, it got really goofy there for yield. Like, it was really dark green last year, and this year we've lost quite a bit. At least, I don't think we've lost quite a bit. We lost a good amount is probably the best way. But I guess the thing, other thing is too that since the update, they got the patches fixed, you know, like right here and here and over here as well that we had issues with. So hopefully that will fix everything permanently now. And I don't know if the fields are going to start becoming like more like this again, where it's kind of just one solid color across with all our advanced equipment that we're using for for our precision stuff or if it's always going to be a little bit spotty like this i hope it's not going to stay spotty like that because we are, we did invest quite a bit of mo our money into that stuff instead of just buying more equipment and making the upgrades that we probably should have started doing but like i said i i kind of want to make this series more about being precise and more thinking about environmental friendliness, so to speak. I'm going to just shove all this fertilizer over here. But that's one other thing we'll be doing next month as well, is we'll be... Hopefully by the November that we'll have a... Oh, our winter barley will be popping up, so we'll get some fertilizer for it so it's... So it can keep growing strong. But I'm... I'm happy with where we're at right now. We're... A little under fifty-two thousand dollars will probably be about fifty thousand next month, just because of all the. Oh, what's the best way to put it? the maintenance for all the properties and such we have? That's one thing I should check. So we're doing pretty dang good on wool and fabric as well. I haven't checked the markets too lately either. But I feel like eggs will. Oh yeah, eggs are starting to get up there. Ooh. Mmm, do we sell them now or do we... You know what, we're going to take a chance. We're going to wait till next month, so we'll have eggs to sell next month. Sunflowers are at a really good price too right now. You know what, we're going to... We're going to close it out. We're going to get the wagons loaded and I'm going to get the sunflowers sold. So next... So when we come back next episode, we will have quite a bit more money. Because I did not realize that the sunflowers were getting that high. I haven't even checked sorghum. Uh, sorghum, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait a bit on that. So we're... We'll basically end the day with us getting rid of this load of sunflowers here. We're getting... I think we should be able to get it all loaded on these two wagons. At least I hope so. But I'm, I'm still planning right now, like I said... I think we should be able to fit the whole, most of the header underneath the barn there. We never really used that area, and if we can, and we're gonna—that's what I'm planning right now. Instead of putting up a shed first, we're gonna we're gonna try and make it work. And if it doesn't, well, we—I think there's—I think we could put something else down there that that way we have we can maybe use the upper portion of the barn or something. Just because I I really think getting the 
combine upgrade is going to benefit us a lot more right now. And I just... We got quite a few hours on that class that I... I think if we don't trade it off soon, we're not going to get a whole lot, a lot for it. I know Chuck said he would give us a good deal, but you know how some salesmen are. They, they tell you one thing and then hit you with another sometimes, but he's been good to us so far, so I'll, I'll take him at his word, but I, I think it's time we get rid of the class. It's, it's been, a, it's been around a long time and I think we're ready for, for something new, but if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date on the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.